In this video, we'll be applying the fundamental theorem of calculus to an absolute value expression. The fundamental theorem of calculus says that if f is continuous on a closed interval from a to b, and capital F is the integral of our function f, then the definite integral from a to b of our function f of x dx is equal to the integral of our function evaluated at the upper limit of integration, subtract the integral of our function evaluated at the lower limit of integration. Our problem that we'll be working with is to evaluate the definite integral from 0 to 2 of the absolute value of 2x minus 1 dx. Now we know that we need to look at the graph of absolute value of 2x minus 1. So let's do that. When x is 0, since we're going from 0 to 2, when x is 0, we have the absolute value of negative 1, which is 1. So we have this point. When x is 1, we have 2 times 1 minus 1, which is 1. When x is 2, we have 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3, so we have 3. Now it looks like our absolute value function is going to hit the axis at 1 half. So if we just check that, 2 times a half is 1, minus 1 is 0. So at 1 half, our uh, function hits the axis. So our graph looks like this. And we're evaluating from 0 to 2. So we need to split our um, function into two pieces. This is going to be the integral from 0 to 1 half of, and this is the the negative side of our absolute value. So it'll be a negative 2x plus 1 dx. And then adding to that the integral from 1 half to 2 of the positive side of our absolute value function. So 2x minus 1 dx. All right, so let's do these two pieces separately. We know that this expression will be a negative 2x squared divided by 2 plus x evaluated from 0 to 1 half. And then we're adding to that this one, which is 2x squared divided by 2 minus x evaluated from 1 half to 2. I'm going to cancel the factors of 2 out of both of these to simplify my work a little bit. So I am evaluating a negative x squared plus x from 0 to 1 half. And then this one is x squared minus x from 1 half to 2. So we have a negative 1 half squared plus 1 half. And then minus, and then I'm going to sub in 0. So I have negative 0 squared plus 0. So this is my first integral. Then plus, now I need to sub in my 2. So I have 2 squared minus 2 subtract. And then I'm going to sub in my 1 half here. So 1 half squared minus 1 half. This gives me a negative 1 4 plus 1 half. 
this is just zero, so I'll put minus zero here, and then plus four, minus two, minus, and this is one fourth, minus, whoops, one half. Doing the math here, we get five halves. Now notice we could, using geometry formulas on here, um, just to check and make sure we have the right thing, um, this is a triangle with a base of one half and a height of one. So the area of that triangle is one half the base times the height. And then this triangle has a base of one and a half, which is three halves. So we have one half the base times the height, which is five halves. Checking our math using geometry formulas, uh, we get the same 